All right, now that we are done with addition and subtraction, let us move on to the next topic. This is binary multiplication and division. In this video, we are going to learn how to multiply and divide in binary. And we are also going to show how to divide using negative numbers and why it is so different from the other three orders of operation, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Now, multiplication is slightly different from addition and subtraction and how we go about it. We can multiply two binary numbers of any length. Rather than an addition and subtraction, we had to make sure that they were the same length. In this case, we can multiply a 4-bit number by a 3-bit number if we want, and the result would be in the form of the combined number of bits, which in that case is 7 bits. The multiplication in binary is similar to doing multiplication in the decimal system, which is very convenient considering that we are only working with zeros and ones. So you're basically just either adding or moving on to the next place. And finally, in multiplication, there is no overflow. So unlike in addition or subtraction, there is no invalid answer. Okay, so let's take a look here at an example. We're going to do 6 times 5. And I'm going to represent the 6 and the 5 in forms of 4-bit numbers. So let's go ahead and represent 6 as a binary number like so, 0, 1, 1, 0. And let's go ahead and represent 5 as a binary number like so, 0, 1, 0, 1. So now let's start focusing on the least significant bit, that is the 1. A good rule of thumb is that we just copy the number if the bit on the multiplicand is a 1. Otherwise, if it is a 0, we just do nothing. Then we move on to the next most significant bit, basically shift left, and we shift that result the result of that multiplicand anyway is one bit to the left. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this problem then. All right, so we have a one here. So let's go ahead and copy zero, one, one, zero. Now we will shift everything to the left one place. And we have a zero, so let's go ahead and just fill everything up with zeros. Then we will shift everything to the left one more time. We see a one here, so let's go ahead and copy zero, one, one, zero. And finally, we shift everything to the left one more time, and we see a zero, so let's just fill it with zeros. All right, now it is time for us to add the numbers together. So we have a zero. We have one plus zero, which is one. One plus zero plus zero, which is one. Zero plus zero plus one plus zero, which is one. Zero plus one plus zero, which is one. And then, of course, the rest, we just pad zeros. And we are left with zero, zero, one, 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 zero. Now, you might want to go ahead and pad the remaining bit, because this is only a seven bit number with zero. And that will leave us with the binary representation of the number 30. All right, so now you know how to multiply in binary. So let's see how we multiply in binary using negative numbers. Now we just have to follow the twos complement for this one. So let's go ahead and multiply negative three times three. With negative numbers, you must stretch out the negative number to a number of bits equal to the result. And then we have to truncate the result accordingly. So basically in this case, the negative three has to be stretched out to eight bits in order to work on the problem. So let's go ahead and do our binary representation of the numbers. We want negative 3, so here is the binary representation of 3. And now we're going to stretch it out towards 8 bits while we negate the numbers. So we invert the numbers like so, and then we add 1 to get our 2's complement. And now let's go ahead and place 3 on the second number right there. All right, so now let's start multiplying. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the least significant bit of the multiplicand, which is this one right here. And we're going to go ahead and copy 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now we will shift everything to the left once. And what we have is another 1. So let's go ahead and copy. But this time we want to truncate to 8 bits. So what we get is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. The 1 that is normally on the left side is truncated out. Now we go ahead and if we keep shifting, we see just nothing but zeros the rest of the way, so we just add zeros to them. Okay, so now it is time to add the numbers together. We got the first three significant bits here. 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1 plus 0 is 1. 
and then we go ahead and add up 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 makes 1, carry the 1. And we continually do this for the rest of the problem. And we are left with 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, which is the binary representation for the number negative 9. If you need to check this, all that you have to do is subtract the number by 1 and invert it, following the 2's complement form of negation, like so. All right, so now that you know that, let's move on to division in binary, the final topic of this lesson. In division in binary, what we want to do is we want to divide a larger binary number of m bits with a smaller binary number of n bits, and the result will be a binary number of m minus n bits. Like with addition, subtraction, and multiplication, we just follow the same rules that we use from our grade school arithmetic. So let's go ahead and take a look at a problem now. We're going to look at the number 28, and we're going to divide it by 5. We're going to represent 28 as a binary form of 8 bits and 5 as one of 4 bits. All right, now that we are done with that, let's go ahead and represent them in binary, like so. So we have 28 divided by 5. Just a fair note, in most college-level engineering courses, there is not going to be a fixed number of bits for you to divide with. So you could go ahead and just truncate the 0 into the left of 101 right there, and you could go ahead and start the equation that way. But if you don't want to, that's fine. We're not going to for this problem, however. Okay, so let's get started. How many times does 5 go into the number 3, or in this case, the binary number 101, go into 011? Well, 0 times. So since we don't have an answer for this one, we're just going to go ahead and shift to the right, like so. All right, so how many times does 111 go into 101? Well, the answer is 1. So after that, we go ahead and copy the 101, like so. And then we will subtract 111 from 101, and we got 010. Then we bring the 0 down, and we shift everything to the right and start the next problem. Well, 100 goes into 1010 times, so we do nothing here. Let's go ahead and shift to the final number, which is 1000. Well, 101 goes into 1000 one time. So we go ahead and subtract 101, like so, and what we are left with is 011. So what we are left with is 0101 with a remainder of 011, or 5 remainder 3 in the decimal representation. Now unfortunately, dividing with negative numbers is a little bit different from addition, subtraction, and multiplication, because it is impossible to take the 2's complement of this particular number and try to divide it in. You're going to get the wrong answer, guaranteed. What you have to do instead with negative division is that you have to simply divide the numbers together first as if they were positive and ignore the sign bit. So in the case of negative 30 divided by 3, for example, you will have to divide 30 divided by 3. Now, if the two numbers that were divided have the same sign, the answer becomes positive. Otherwise, it becomes negative. Similarly, you can also do this in multiplication if you wish, but there is a two's complement format for that that we have shown earlier in this lesson. Okay, so now that we are done with that, I thank you very much for watching this video. Next, we are going to look at Boolean variables and logic gates. We are finally getting out of all this binary arithmetic and binary conversions. And we're going to go into Boolean variables. So with that, I hope to see you next time. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.